How to speed up a slow internet connection. This video teaches you how to get maximum speed out of a slow internet connection. If you're using your ISP's lowest internet package tier, your internet speed probably leaves something to be desired. Thankfully, there are some steps you can take to ensure that you're consistently getting the speed that you pay for. Step 1. Update your devices. Computers, smartphones, tablets, and consoles all need to be updated periodically, and failing to do so can result in a drop in internet speed. Make sure that your items are up to date. Most items will alert you when an update is available. Avoiding updates is not recommended. Step 2. Minimize the number of running services. When you have a slow internet connection, you generally can't run more than one bandwidth heavy service, e.g., Netflix, an online video game, YouTube, etc., at a time. However, running several smaller bandwidth using items can also be detrimental to your internet speed. Focus on one program at a time for optimal speed. When using smartphones or consoles, be sure to exit an app completely rather than just minimizing it. If the app is running in the background, it can still cause your internet speed to decrease. Step 3. Shut off other internet connected items. While closing bandwidth heavy programs on your computer will help improve your browser's performance, your internet will continue to be slow if several other computers slash smartphones slash entertainment sources are actively connected to your network. You can diminish the number of other items with which you have to share your internet by turning them off temporarily. Placing internet connected items in airplane mode will also fix this problem. Step 4. Change your router channel. Many modern routers include two bands, a 2.4 GHz band, which is the standard for wireless communication, and a 5 GHz band, which accommodates faster downloads and results in less interference. If your router has a 5 GHz band, switching to it will prevent interference from other internet-connected items and nearby wireless connections. You can usually switch to the 5 GHz band from within your item's Wi-Fi settings. Each router will have a different name for the 5 GHz band, so check your router's manual or online documentation. Not all routers have 5 GHz bands. If your router only has the standard 2.4 GHz band, skip this step. Since 5 GHz bands have less range than do 2.4 GHz bands, doing this will often require you to keep your internet-connected items within 10 to 15 feet of the router. Step 5. Use Ethernet instead of wireless. Wi-Fi is convenient, but it can also cause plenty of problems due to connection issues. If you want to get the most consistency out of your internet connection, plug your computer or console into your router or modem with an Ethernet cable. Mac users will need a USB-C Ethernet adapter in order to do this. You cannot connect a smartphone or tablet via Ethernet. Much of the time, users who are frustrated by slow internet are more annoyed with the inconsistency, e.g., some pages loading while others take too long, than with the speed itself. Using an Ethernet cable will address this problem. The fastest possible speed that you can get from your plan can be achieved by connecting an item, e.g., a computer, directly to the modem, not the router, via an Ethernet cable. This will limit Internet access to include only the wired item. Step 6. Skin your computer for viruses. Viruses can cause anything from your computer to your entire internet connection to slow down. Using antivirus software to scan and repair your computer where needed will eliminate problematic programs. Thanks for this watching my videos. Please subscribe, like and share.